and you still managed to buy them. <laughs> some right. Lego. When I, I was a kid, oh, it God. wasn't about what you got. I remember one year when I was about eight, right? <laughs> oh, this is gonna make me cry, isn't it, this? It's no, good. it's not. I'm just Go saying on. the way it is, right? I woke up at about four in the morning. And I was like, oh, what have I got? And I couldn't sleep, or was that on edge? Mm. It's the excitement of Christmas, isn't it? It's like, <laughs> yeah. oh, what's wrapped up? I need to know. Sure. Yeah. And it's the fact that people are saying, no, you won't know until tomorrow. Yes. Sure. That annoys you and winds you up. Okay. So sure. I got up at four in the morning, yeah. opened my presents, and then went, right, I know now, I went back to bed, had a great sleep. Yes. Right? So it's nothing to do with the excitement of what you get, it's the excitement of not knowing what you've got. And then what happened when you got up to go down with the so presents? What hang on, so oh. what you're saying to me is that you could wrap up a brick because the thrill of Christmas is in hoping and ex being excited about what it is, not the actual gift itself. Yeah. Is that, is, is that what you did? That's the brick. <laughs> did, you, did you get a brick? No, let me tell you now what he got. He got her a present, right, and she said, she came and I said, uh, yeah, he got me. It was, it was an industrial sized packet of condoms. It was a joke gift. No, it, no, wasn't, it wasn't a joke, a joke gift. Joke. It wasn't even a joke. I mm. went home that Saturday after here, passed boots, <laughs> thought, might have something in here. They were on, like, some value. Right, you, you passed the well, makeup. Well, they used. <laughs> <laughs> you right, passed anyway. the makeup. You passed all the other. Yeah. Passed the makeup. Stuff. Passed the lovely vanity cases. Yeah. Yeah, the foot spas. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. How much are these, love? For a hundred? <laughs> yeah. Four ninety nine. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> do I get them reduced if I buy in bulk? <laughs> so how many did you buy? What was it? I don't know, probably about hundred. Right, okay. And is she allowed to use those with anyone? <laughs> <laughs> did you wrap them? Can she yeah, just go yeah, out and have yeah, a wild yeah. Well, you don't need to wrap they're already wrapped, aren't they? Oh. And then what did she say so when she opened them? No, wait, wait, I'll, 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 God, what did she say? <laughs> right, play a record and we'll come <laughs> back to this. <laughs> <laughs> You're worse than my father, that's genius. <laughs> Made famous, of course, by Jimi Hendrix. Yeah. That's all along the Watchtower, as originally done by Mr. Bob Dylan. On XFM 104.9. So, Carl, just just take us through the moment where you gave this gift. Firstly, so you, so were you, you, were, you, were, you were into boots, right? You thought, all right, 100 condoms. Brilliant. Mm. Okay. Did you wrap it up? I don't know if it was 100. Probably 80. Right, okay. Yeah. Right. You so, gotta go mad, uh, do you? <laughs> Wrap them up. I'm just, I, you know, I'm just resting easy knowing that he's not trying to breed. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> no. Yeah. So, uh, I got her them. I got her, uh, Grease on DVD, cause okay. she's always watching that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, so I just think of, uh, when her mum said, what did Carl get you? Some condoms and grease. <laughs> yeah, I was just so glad he said on DVD. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. and, um, she was surprised anyway, right, because... Yeah, I bet she was. No, when, when she got... <laughs> she, she, was, she was thinking, like, jewellery. No. That, right. that, that showed her. <laughs> <laughs> that surprised you, wasn't it? <laughs> All right? <laughs> oh, so hang on, wait a minute. You thought it was a holiday, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, look at your face. You don't know me at all. <laughs> Um, so well, hang on, so did you give these on Christmas Day? Right, what <laughs> happened is, she got in from work that Saturday, <coughs> right? And I said, look under the tree. Knack her oh, right. at least it's Christmas. <laughs> yeah. At least I'm gonna get a little bit. Uh, yeah, I, said, I said, look, you got some stuff under the tree, right? <laughs> so, uh, she, At least you surprise, give her a sugar right? lamp. Right, she was really chuffed with that. But she said, she was a bit, a bit puzzled because I didn't know he had any wrapping paper, right? So I ended up using wallpaper. <laughs> You didn't take it off the wall, though. You had no, some. No, it was some left over, right? So she said, "Why have you used wallpaper?" I said, well, "I didn't have any paper, and you were getting in in a bit, and I wanted you to have a surprise." <laughs> so she said, "Can I have a feel of them?" <laughs> I said, <"Yeah."> "The presents." <laughs> she thought, "Right, I've got the right thing." Yeah. Right. And uh, then Christmas Day, um, I said, "No, don't get carried away. It's nothing really good." You know, we said we weren't going to buy each other much. Uh, so there you go. Open them. Yeah. Go on. And uh, can I just ask, had you received your presents from her yet? Yeah. So what have you received? Um, what did he have? Had some shoes. Nice. Right. Um, getaway game for PlayStation. Nice. Just right. I'm just tightening up just the value of those. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And just also think about how much fun and pleasure you get from them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although, yeah, yeah. of course, condoms, I can see the, see. Well, you see yeah. the appeal. Well, right. Okay, um, yeah, that's yeah. it. I think but I can... also add to that bit 150 quid for a meal. <laughs> if you're gonna start totting up, 150 quid for a meal, <laughs> I bought some shoes 72 quid. <laughs> Yeah, that was after the event, though. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, All right, so you received these, dare I say it, thoughtful and nice gifts. You handed over the box of uh, condoms. They were wrapped up. She well, had wrapped them. Yeah. Go on, take us through it. Walk well, us through it. Well, 
It's not, it's not something you play with on Christmas morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Oh! But, right. But when she opened the- What did she say? What did she say? She's, well, I wrapped them twice as well, so she thought it was something really good. Extra like, protection. Oh. Right. And, uh, so she thought it was something really good. And then- and So then, the disappointment would be double. <laughs> yeah, go on, yeah. Then she just opened it and went, oh yeah, so what's on the telly? And that's God, that. ungrateful. That was what an ungrateful woman that is. Well, fancy, got not, stuff. fancy not wanting I told a, her, a I told box her. of economy condoms from Boots. I said to her about the thing about, you know, it's all about the surprise and that, innit? Yeah. You explained um, that to her? Yeah. What, after she'd unwrapped it? Yeah. Full, and full. She, was, she was all right about it. Yeah. She understood. Rick, you know I suggested to him that he buy his girlfriend a gift. I'm worried I've done more damage to the relationship by suggesting that than if he had just forgotten. Next time you've got to go shopping for yourself, Steve. I think I might do. You've better to go shopping for yourself. It's, I'm glad it's all over though. It's it's mental. Yeah. I, it annoys me. The whole thing <laughs> annoys me, and she knows that as well. Yeah. <laughs> she should know. What? She, she still insists on having Christmas once a year. Well. Well. I'm, 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 you know. No, but, uh, well, anyway, what did you get? I can't think what you, what you bring to the relationship, <laughs> Carl. I don't know what it is she's getting from you in this relationship. Uh, it's like uh, she's I doing all the know. work. I think we know. Eighty times. Oh God, Carl! I love uh, it. You're brilliant. I know what she's getting. He's the, he's the, he's the. Uh, what? No, he's not thoughtful. No, he, no, but he's, he's thoughtful. He's the best he can do with the brain he's got. Do you know what I mean? Right. He's doing his best. Mm. He's absolutely mm. doing his best. There's no. <laughs> he's working at the limits of his powers. Do you know what I mean, though? He's done as well as he can with what he was given. Sure. Yeah, I, and that's that's admirable. Yeah. It's like I think he's done better than you'd, you'd expect. I bet his teachers didn't even think he'd get this far. Do you know what I mean? What? Find a girl. No. Well, yeah, a job, a girl. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Clothed himself. He's done, he's done really well. What do you think, Carl? You think you've done well? I, I think I've done all right compared to some of the mates. What are they doing now? Probably not that much. Mm. Do you know what I mean? The, the, Mrs. Matthew said I wouldn't be an eye flyer. I think I'm doing all right. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I have holiday every year. <laughs> uh, got somewhere to live and that. Yeah. yeah. Got a new flat, haven't you? Yeah, so. So where are they then, the condoms? Are they. Did she show them to her family and friends? No. Take no, them into work? Look what Carl's I'm surprised got she told Ricky, actually. I was a bit disappointed in that. Yeah. Because I didn't go shouting at Well, she was so I excited, got. Carl, clearly. <laughs> she's just so pleased and proud. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, play a record, we come back to it. No, that's it now. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh, no, Streets, don't mug yourself, XFM 104.9, Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington, a regular Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave it now, I'll leave it. Oh dear. So, Rockbusters? Rockbusters, uh, first one of the year. Um, Do you want to explain it? In case we've yeah, got some new listeners. Some new listeners. Like might it. have, might have, like you never it. know. Like Chance to win some stuff. Um, I'll give you, like, a cryptic clue and some initials. And it sort of makes up a band, so an easy one that we did at the start was, uh, an exploding pet, A.K. Atomic Kitten. Yeah. Right, that's how it works. So there's three of them, um, it's email only, you email in ricky.gervais at xfn.co.uk and, uh, you win all that stuff Steve was talking about. Right, first one, uh, £42 for a torch. <laughs> <laughs> £42 for a torch, that's a bit pricey. Uh, that's D. Right. That's D. Yeah, so right. just give us a give right us that that down. So forty two pounds for a torch. That, that's a bit pricey, isn't it? Right. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of enhancement. <laughs> yeah. Thinking up his growth. Oh okay, God. That's, that's D. Uh, the second one, um he'll fit some chocolate to your feet. Say that again? He'll fit some chocolate to your feet. Is that he will fit some chocolate to your feet? He'll Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He'll fit some chocolate to your feet. And the initial there is A. That's A. Yeah. And uh the third and final one. Uh, do you think your kid will get that strawberry for me? <laughs> do you right. think- say again? Do you think, uh, do you think your kid will get that strawberry for me? That's <laughs> WP. Right, now, I'd better warn people, um, you really gotta get into the mindset of Carl here. These are not real cryptic clues. These are not cryptic clues that you do in the Guardian or the, the Times crossword. Um, there's usually something wrong with them. Uh, it is usually, um, uh, what's the word? Um, completely change the word in order to make it fit. Yes. Often. <laughs> yeah. Um, so just be careful. Don't be surprised. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, do you want to give us a, them again very quickly? Alright, uh, first one, 42 quid for a torch, that's, that's a bit pricey, isn't it? 
Right, that's D. <laughs> uh, second one, it'll fit some chocolate to your feet. Can't think of anything. I can't a. think. That's A. a. And, uh, do you think, uh, do you think your kid will get that strawberry for me? W. P. Right, so, uh, Ricky Ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. Some great prizes to be won. Yeah. Ah. Right, Rockbusters then. Uh, wrapping it up. Um, it needs some work, that game, but I see it's got a lot of mileage. Um, uh, right, uh, then the first one, uh, £42 for a torch. That's a bit pricey. Go on. That was D. Yeah. That was Daylight. Right, I thought delight, and I thought um, it doesn't work. One. It doesn't work. I actually thought delight doesn't work. Second one. There's um, no one. No, wait, wait, wait. Dear light, it doesn't work. It's delight. Second one was. No, no, Carl, it doesn't work. Yeah, but if we're gonna continue with this feature, you've got to tweak them a bit, right? <laughs> People have got it. We've had loads of emails, more than ever. So, do you know what I mean? Let them decide. Mm. If they don't like it, they won't email in. But they lo they're loving it. They right. all come from the same institution. Um, <laughs> right, go on. It'll fit some chocolate to your feet. That was A. That was Aerosmith. Right. Aerosmith. You've yeah. heard of a blacksmith? But a smith is just yeah. a workman. It doesn't um, necessarily- No, you can have anything. You can have a locksmith. You... A smith doesn't just mean it does shoes. Right. Do you think- you... Aero cobbler oh. would have worked. Unfortunately, there isn't a band called Aero cobbler. Get ready, get ready with a winner. Um, do you think your kid will, uh, get that strawberry for me? That's Wilson Pickett. 